Hey everyone and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Bill and Bob just landed on Val and now I'm just returning my attention to the Leif shuttle. As you can see I'm reversing it out slowly and uh, turning on those uh, reaction wheels again. If I tried turning with them on while it was docked, it just ripped the whole thing apart. So that's why I had them off. Anyway, let's find our landing site. It's the same landing site as before, of course. The whole point of this was, I don't know if I actually mentioned that, but the uh, whole point was to give those two guys down there a way home should they need it. I mean, I'm going to keep them in their base there, but it just felt like the right thing to do. That's pretty close, I think. So yeah, um, it's that same island. It's a nice flat area to land planes on. And there's a small hill on both sides of it, but mm, should be fine. Anyway, it's on a different inclination as us, that's why I'm burning this way. And, oh, just a couple more seconds, so let's go. Map view in stereo. <laughs> Not quite sure why it does that. And it kind of sounds like the rocket goes left and right all the time when you're in the map view. But oh well, could be worse. Slightly irritating if you have headphones on. But um, let's see. Yeah, well clear of that. Okay, atmosphere on life was yeah, here. It seems. <laughs> um Right, um let me get a camera angle that's a little bit more helpful. And let's turn it the right way. I love how quickly this thing turns, even though it's quite heavy. Yeah, it has a bunch of those reaction wheels in there, just to keep it stable while ascending. Alright, that's that island before that one. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, well, I guess I'm gonna be landing in the dark. Should probably have checked that first. But okay, I mean, first leaf landing was in in the sunny side, and this time it's gonna be in the dark, I guess. Hmm. Yeah. Well, whatever. I'm already on my way down. No changing it now. All right. Uh, this the first island here. Uh oh, <laughs> I just realized something. Those reaction wheels. They're not the most stable when turning. Probably have attached another strut to that. You know, although I can move them, you know, all the way without them breaking off. So I should be fine. Hmm. Right. Just giving myself a countdown there so I know when I'm gonna be there. Although I don't know does this even work. If I already slow down because of the atmosphere. It's just gonna change the time. <laughs> that crater. Or lake, whatever it is. Hmm. Oh, Leif. Such a nice place. And just as I say that, draw nice as woods. Makes it even more beautiful. All right. Um, when do I get re-entry effects again? I think thirty thousand is on curtain. No, maybe. I think it's something like twenty-five here. Again, maybe. 
Oh no, it's getting dark. Mm. Oh well. Approach looks nice though. I think I might be a little bit short, but that's alright. I can just use my jet engines to extend it all a bit. Oh, there we go. Oh, 20. Wow. Well, it definitely looks cool when we're entering. I think, anyway. Um, yep. Screenshot. <laughs> uh. Oop. Oh, there's the marker. Wait, where am I? I can't see the ocean. That's helpful, I think, maybe. But I should probably start and pull up soon. <laughs> okay, well, I don't think the SES likes it when I adjust the trim. I think it's time to fire up the engines a little bit, otherwise I'm just going to splash into the ocean. Um, I think I'm quite fine, I just need to pull up a little bit, I have st still a lot of speed. Oh, wrong speed, alright, uh, yeah, let's fire up the engines. Okay, please pull up. Oh, that's beautiful. Still, I need to pull up. Come on. <laughs> right, it's pulling up. Somewhat. Yeah, that's enough. Let's just keep going like this. Should be just fine. I don't know the atmosphere turns yellow like that on Lave. Hmm. Right, I want to use the jet fuel. What? No. I guess I didn't connect those. No. But whatever, we can transfer it later. Alright, I can see land, that's good. I can also see a hill. I guess I probably should have landed a little bit to the left of this. I'm still fine though, I think. I think the hill is further in the back. Mm. Oh, this thing is really heavy right now, though. I probably shouldn't have brought down all the fuel thinking about it now. I mean, I have the fuel tank and all, but I could just refuel there if I need to go anyway. Well, well, I guess it's a test. Um, it would probably also be useful to know the stall speed. Damn it, I should have planned this. <laughs> uh, well, I guess it's going to be a fast landing. Just going down very slowly. I should have, have plenty of runway. As I remember towards the water, there is a little bit of a hill still. So I probably don't want to land right on the edge there, on the beach. going up a little bit, that's not what I wanted. Right, let's shed some light on this. I'm too uh, high up of course, but I want to see when I'm coming down. Right, landing gears down. 
Oh, and yeah, I was right about those engines. It's definitely the orange fuel tank making the middle one glow more. <laughs> I hope I don't smash right into it. <laughs> uh. <sighs> bouncy, bouncy, SESA. Might I should probably yeah, turn a little bit to the right. I don't want to crash into it. I think I'm clear of the hill now. Ooh, the ground is coming up. Oh no, lag. Oh, <laughs> that doesn't help. Oh yeah, I'm in physics, the loading range of, of the actual base. Yeah, probably a good thing I turned to the side. Right, I don't want to be going up, I just... Oh no, that hill is coming up. I'm a bit scared to throttle down, I don't want to stall and crash into the ground. Well, may yeah, maybe I should use the rocket engines. Those are a bit more responsive, I can always throttle up if I need to. Alright, coming down slowly. Oh, not the hill. Okay, just go down, go down. Oh man, oh, this is close. Ah, oh. Oh no 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 don't wiggle around like that no ah just break 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 ah oh. <laughs> oh that was intense all right um let's roll back why isn't the brake disengaging hmm. no nothing broke. the heck? Why don't the engines turn off? What's going on here? Did the probe break off? Wait, no, why is it? Well, it still has electric charge though, so it's not that either. What? Well, okay, the probe itself doesn't have electric charge. Why? Oh, because uh, the reaction wheels are using power because of uh, because of the trim. But still, I have electric charge in the front one. Why doesn't that tr uh, you know work for the probe? Well, I can't transfer because I don't have control. What the hell? Not really. Wait a second, I can just get the kerbal over here and fix it. Uh, right, um... Should probably do that before I run out of fuel from the idling engine. Um, can I click it here? No. Uh, too far away too, great. Can I even switch now because it's... Well, okay, it's not for a lot, it's just idling. Come on. Okay, I think I clicked on the flag now, but whatever. That's close enough. You can select the other thing. Yeah, the flag, okay. Um, I'll switch to there, to the car. Let's turn on the light on the base so I know where to return to. Okay. Well, that's quite a drive. But, not right. Driving mode. I'm not sure why it's called docking mode. I don't think anybody actually uses it for docking. <laughs> but yeah. Let's slowly turn. Turn on the high beams. Uh, right, well, it's going to be a bit of a drive, so I'll be right back.
right about a kilometer out now can already hear the engine it's still kind of hard to see wait is it actually behind the hill hmm I should get rid of the mark uh, oh there it is okay it's just really dark well, I was thinking, I mean, I understand what the problem was now. I mean, the idea was uh, the uh, jet engines produce power and actually supply the reaction wheels when they're needed. And, well, as soon as I throttled down to land, they ran out of power. Though I still don't quite get why, you know, it has a lot of power still in in the capsule in front. Why doesn't the probe just draw the power from that? Why does it drain, it drain the probe first? That's kind of stupid, but whatever. <laughs> I didn't know it does that. I'll just say that. Okay, this is getting quite loud now. I hope it doesn't actually burn any fuel like this. just gets onto the roof, <laughs> which is kind of hard too. Right, I can extend ladders from EBA, right? Get close in. Ah, okay, good. Would have sucked if I couldn't get in now. Anyway, yeah. okay, that's the wrong button. Um, let's see. Oh, now it's refilled figures. Um, well, um, well, I guess I'm gonna taxi the plane a little bit closer uh, to the base. Maybe not quite that close. Might make it lag, but. Anyway, let's do that. And now that the plane is all nice and parked, we just need to pick up the Insta. We have a remote control car. That should probably be the next thing after I've strut all the things. Put probes on all the things. Quite useful. Anyway, there he is, right next to the lathe shovel. Turn on the brake. Oh, that's the wrong thing. There he is. Alright, let's go over to this side, since we're not British, sorry, <laughs> or Australian, or Japanese, or whatever, <laughs> we're Kerbal. 
All right. Um, track the wire. Ah, yeah, I was thinking about putting the plane further away than this, so it doesn't lag, but yeah. It doesn't really lag all that much right now. It was just when I was flying. Let's just check on the run out of power again. But I guess it wouldn't matter, it would just bring Kerbal over again. Right. And that put it a little bit, uh, well, to the north, is it? Uh, yeah, yeah, of this, so uh, I'm on the flatter part of this area when I actually try to start this again. I mean, there's a little bit of a hill still. But yeah, whatever, it doesn't take that long to take off a thing. It can handle a little hill. Yeah, alright. I'm sure he's looking forward to going home again. If he even calls this his home. And I'm not gonna RP a Kerbal. Ah. I don't know why I expect something to be around, but <laughs> I don't know. I think that'd be kind of cool to, you know, like, well, not. Well, maybe on Lave too, like, I don't know, something that jumps out sometimes, like an animal or something. Ah. <laughs> uh, but make it, like, really hidden, so people will almost go nuts about it. Like, like they had Bigfoot in San Andreas, although I don't think that was even there. <laughs> but, yeah, whatever. Hmm. I mean, there's this one thing, like, uh, I saw something on Leaf, it was, I think it was probably just like a lighting error, but it was kind of weird. You're just driving by and then all out of the sun, it, well it just looked like a lens for the glitch really, but I thought, hmm, maybe that's an easter egg. It reminded me of those uh, space lightning bugs from Stargate Atlantis, so I thought, hmm, the planet even looks like that. It's also kind of desert area looking like planet, but it was a moon too. Hmm. Smaller conspiracy. Well, maybe it isn't a glitch, maybe it is, I don't know. Anyway, let's... Oh, wait, I can't get in here. Ow, okay. <laughs> um, right, well, I did plan to set this thing down, I just had the wheels on it, so... Well, actually, I just put the wheels on there, so... Um, the uh, structural panel doesn't clip into the ground. Then I thought, hmm, I can put this there, and I can actually move the base as well. But, yeah, I mean, I guess the base is permanent now. I might as well have it sit down. Um, base key. Yep. Uh, which one next? Is it a little bit on a hill? Uh, nah, let's, let's do the back one first. Let the brakes on, it all went the wrong way. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe I should move him. I don't want this thing to fall on his head. Oh, come on. No, I'm, there we go. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, okay. Not this one. And, uh, there we go, and this one. Bouncy bumps, yep. Yeah, and it doesn't clip into the floor, that's good. Right now, we should just be able to walk him in. Uh, is this one where his body is in? Let me check again, I think you have to right click, right? Or is it left? Um, get out the way there. Oh yeah, that's where his body is. We'll draw him in for a bit, I guess. Right. But then I gotta say, I'll see you all in the next part.